Hi everyone, Simon here, episode two. We left Hans in a village in Isan. He just pulled into this dusty village. It was evening and this girl got him out of the car. Luckily, Hans had bought a SIM card, a Thai SIM card at the airport. His friends did and they told him to put it in his phone. He's got a Thai number. He also took the taxi number off the guy, which was a great move because six, seven in the evening, the village is dark, goes into this wooden stilted house with this new girl, met her family. Quite a lot of people there. She showed him where they were going to sleep and it was on the floor upstairs on like a mattress. Took him back downstairs food was flying around. She asked him for some money for some beer. Now he did drink. He did like drinking beer. Over the years he acquired the taste for it. And he liked fine ales, even wine. So lucky for him, all of her relatives, this girl's relatives had come round. So he gave some money to the girl. She bought a load of beer and whiskey. He didn't drink whiskey, but he drank the beer. And he had quite a few. Come bedtime, up they went. Again, no aerobics. Girl found this very strange. <laughs> they slept, woke up in the morning to all the animals and similar signs to this. He got up, had a walk around. Absolutely hated it turned round to the girl and said, I don't like this part of Thailand. It's not for me. I prefer city life. I'm going back to Pattaya. And the girl's response was, okay, give me some money, please. I'll get the taxi for you. I understand, no problem. I'm gonna stay here. So she said, six or seven thousand baht, he assumed that the taxi cost. He'd already paid the one coming up, which was about the same. She rang that taxi, couldn't help. So she rang another taxi, she knew couldn't help. So she said to Hans, sorry, there's no taxis. <laughs> but she then said, oh, my brother has the pickup truck He'll drive you to Bangkok and then you can get a taxi from there. And he thought, I want to get out of here. He said, okay. So he gave her five or six thousand baht and said goodbye. Jumped in this pickup truck with her brother who drove crazy all the way to Bangkok. When they got to Bangkok, brother turned around and said, five thousand baht, please. And he had, couldn't speak Thai and he's like, I pay already and I pay already. No, 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 that was pay for girl. <laughs> he had cash in his pocket, he paid again. The guy pretty much dumped him in the center of Bangkok. He just hailed a taxi down, he didn't want to stay in Bangkok. He managed to get the taxi to understand where he was staying in Pattaya and the hotel and got himself back to Pattaya. Another thousand or so baht back to the hotel. As he's uh, getting out of the taxi, his friends are in that bar next door and they see him and they ask where he's been and he told them the story and they just laughed at him. He had a beer with him. He then went to the ATM because he was low on money and he got some more money out. Went back to his room. What's the first thing he did? Jump back on the apps, pick another girl. He still just doesn't know what to do. And another girl pops up. Yes, and she can meet him. <laughs> Same story, goes to the bar, meets the girl. Girl twigs exactly. This guy's a greenhorn, he's new. Tyler hasn't got a foggiest. This is an easy target, easy payday. And tells him, let's go and explore Thailand. And he said, I don't want to go to North or villages. 
She said, no problem, let's go to beaches. How would you like that? And he said, have hotels, have bars, and said, yes, yes, we'll go down to Phuket. He still, no idea geography. He says, how do we get there? She said, well, we go Bangkok taxi and we'll fly down, stay hotel. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and this is just come back from Isan. It's like, again, late at night, she stays for the night, gives her money. Again, no aerobics. Morning comes, let's go to Phuket. Taxi, airport, airport, plane, Phuket, taxi. Into the center of Patong. How much money should we spend? She actually, good girl, because she said, how much money should we spend on a hotel for a, a night or two? He said, we'll book one night at the time. He said, oh, 2,000 baht. He seems to get that number from, from what's going on. Find a hotel, check in, one night, booked. No aerobics. Mid-afternoon, this is by the time they get Phuket, late afternoon. Let's go out for a drink and food, off they go. Round pat on. Again, it's just a bit like Pat here with the, the entertainment area. And he's not mad on that, he's feeling uncomfortable. He's not into romance. What is he looking for? Maybe he's trying to find a replacement wife. Maybe he's thinking, do I want to come and live in Thailand? But he doesn't like village life. He doesn't like Phuket. What does he like? Hmm. Keep saying he likes city life. Um, they eat, they drink, another night, wakes up in the morning, walk around the beach, and he's, this is quite nice. I really like city life. And this girl talks a lot, doesn't like that. But they spend, they, they spend three or four days in Phuket. He stays at the hotel, books it for more, tries, and she soon realizes that she needs to do his cleaning, his washing, his ironing. She twigs that he needs a mother and she takes that role under her arm. He doesn't want aerobics. He's just a lovely boy and scared of a lot of things. She even tries coaxing him into uh, aerobics and contact, but he's not interested. Not interested. Four days pass. He says, I want to go back to see my friends. I had enough. And she talks too much. So they make the journey. Taxi, plane, taxi. Back to Pattaya. This girl, though, hadn't been taking lots of money. She then announces to him when he gets back to Pattaya, you now must pay me for my time of two or three thousand baht a day and I want this. And he just, he's fine with it. He's like, go ATM. Gives her about 10, 15 thousand baht and says goodbye. At this point, he's now tried a few things in Thailand. His friends, he talks to them, they're laughing. They think it's so amusing what's happening to him, which is a bit naughty. They should have took him to one side and explained more and more to him, but they didn't. For the final week and a bit, most of the time he stays at the hotel, he goes to that bar, he goes to the same restaurant, and then he'll walk down the beach. That's pretty much all his days. Towards the end, three days from the end of the holiday, he thinks I'm gonna try one more time. He tries an app called Tinder, and up pops a lady who is 60 years old, very attractive, the photos, very nicely dressed, and she starts talking to him. So you think, I'll spend a bit more time talking to this girl. She lives um, Kanchanaburi. Bridge over the river Kwai, quite a few miles away from Pattaya. She says she's got um, a twin sister. 
she's got a grown up son and she's divorced she says she has her own house but her sister lives in the house with her and she is really looking to meet start another relationship with someone it's been about 10 years or so since she's been anywhere near a man she's been really forthcoming with all this information and Hans seems to connect with her being an older woman maybe this is going to be a better partner for him she seems very gentle unlike what I am going to be in a minute with those chickens <laughs> no airplanes very nice, very sincere seems perfect anyway so it's two more days maybe it's a snake Two more days left of his holiday and she says I am prepared to drive up to Pattaya to meet you but I will need to spend the night there because it's a long way for me to come would you be prepared to book me a room in your hotel and pay for it and cover my costs She's not asking for money for herself, just cover my cost to come and meet you. If you are, I would be prepared to do that. Now this just all clicked nicely in his head. He's seen what these other girls have done to him. This lady is asking for expenses. This lady wants another room, so she's not after his body. She doesn't seem to be after his money. Sounds perfect. And he says, yes, I will happily cover all these costs. I would love to meet you. Please come up. Now he's got two days left, uh, two nights. This is late in the afternoon when this last conversation happens. So she says she'll come the next day. So he's only gonna have one night left with her staying before he heads off back home. Next day, and I'm gonna call this lady Gretel, just for the pun of Hans and Gretel. <laughs> Next morning, Gretel leaves home. She turns up about lunchtime. She's got a, only a, about a three, four hour drive. She turns up at the hotel. He doesn't see her car because he's in the bar next door. She comes up to the hotel and she messages him on, on this app says I'm at the hotel and he comes back from the bar next door and there she is and he finds her very attractive beautifully dressed elegant and he shakes her hand <laughs> shakes her hand then she leans forward and gives him a kiss on the cheek after weighing him he checks her in he says there's a room for you and uh, the porter takes her stuff up to the room with her and Hans waits. He says, I'll wait down here. She goes up, puts her stuff in the room, comes back down. After a quick shower and changing clothes again, it's more elegant clothes. So this is just after lunchtime. She comes down and sits down next to him. He says, this is uh, better than I expected. You're a handsome man. And then she just kissed his butt, basically telling him how pretty he was and all the rest of it. And I remember, he's a little bit plump. He's now, what, 63, 64 years old, something like that. Handsome devil. And he carries around a one pack of a, a beer container on his front of his body, as in a beer belly. <laughs> Handsome. But he does, he does dress smartly. He has nice trousers, a tailored shirt, and... Uh, Quite often he'll have a cravat, the old fancy tie. Where he got that from, I don't know. Um, and he wears a hat sometimes, like a Panama hat. Glasses. 
almost dresses as if he has a lot of money when he hasn't. Gives that impression that he has a lot of money. And he has a nice gold watch I think his mother gave him when he was probably 21. Just a plain simple gold watch, but it looks nice. So he looks the part of a well-presented German guy with a soft voice. Perfect catch actually for a Thai lady, especially Gretel at 60 years old. Anyway, she is absolute, she's a superstar, she's wonderful. They spend the evening, they have a romantic dinner, spend the evening together. She asks him if I can hold your hand when they walk down the road and he said, okay. Great evening, really lovely romantic night. And they get on like a house on fire. She speaks great English, no German, but English. And he speaks English, I forgot to say, sorry. But yeah, he speaks great English. Um, and they get on like a house on fire. Romantic night, back to the hotel, end of the evening. She kisses him on the cheek said, I'll see you in the morning for breakfast. And he walks her to a door, says good night, and off he goes to his room. He's back in his room and he's thinking, wow, this is a wonderful lady. And through the night, he'd actually said to her and been honest that he told her he'd been married before and he's currently married going through divorce and that his mother had passed and that he wasn't very good, wasn't domesticated. Now this Gretel understood this and I think she is a very, very, very clever lady who took mental notes and probably went back to her room and made physical notes about everything every little detail of the evening I'm pretty sure she wrote down come the morning breakfast again she's looking elegant come down he's dressed well into the uh, breakfast area and they're chatting more now she's starting to quiz him more asking him more about the divorce and trying to get a bit of background on him trying to work out finances and he turns round and says, I like city life. I'm about to retire. I'm going through this divorce. I'm probably gonna to have to sell my home and get this divorce fixed. I would like to possibly come and try and live here in Thailand. And Gretel said, well, we seem to get on very well. How about if I help you come here? Maybe we'll... You can't live in my house because my sister lives there. Twin sister. And my son sometimes stays. But we could rent a house together. I live in a beautiful area and there's a nice city. What about if I rent a cheap house? You come over, you move over and we'll see what you think of that city and let's see how things transpire. She just hit all the perfect questions and answers that gave him the path to take. As if she told him, you're gonna go back, you're gonna divorce your Philippine wife, you're gonna settle that, you're gonna get ready, you're gonna get all your money and you're gonna come here and I'm gonna take care of you. That's what it came across to him like. What do you think is going to happen on the next episode? Have you any idea, guys? Some of you might, some of you might not. Remember, I like the twist and turn. Hans and Gretel. Put some comments below. Let's have your thoughts. Would you like this next episode to be a really happy episode? Not so happy? I'd love to see your thoughts. 
moving into the next episode. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Hans and Gretchen. I've heard those names before somewhere. Thank you.